Okay class, uh, today we're going to be illustrating some capital cost allowance uh, calculations and I've listed the uh, five topics we're going to cover in this series. The first one we're looking at is the calculation of capital cost allowance on a, a Schedule 8, a capital cost allowance schedule for tax purposes and we're going to be prorating uh, the capital cost allowance for a short year end. The first transaction that we're recording is um, a company that begins uh, their fiscal period in May 1st and then they purchase assets during the year. So if their year end is December 31st, it's a short year end and we have to prorate the capital cost allowance calculation. And uh, so we'll go to the CCA schedule now. And uh, so it's year one and this is equipment so it's class eight and the UCC at the beginning of the year is zero because this is a new business and they're just beginning their operations and so they don't have any assets that they carry forward from the previous year and they have additions this uh, year of hundred and twenty one thousand dollars that goes in column three as an addition and then that carries over to column six and then we use the half year rule in uh, column seven to adjust for half of the purchases. I'll show you that uh, calculation in a minute. And now this is a short year end and so uh, and the rate is 20 percent so we'll put in 20 percent as the rate. And it's going to be prorated for 245 days from May 1st to December 31st. And uh, so because of that the uh, calculation for capital cost allowance for the first year is $8,122. Now I want to show that calculation so we'll, we'll just uh, t uh, go to these um, adjustments to the CCA schedule. First of all in column 7 is the half year rule and uh, it takes the $121,000 addition uh, minus disposals and there aren't any disposals. This uh, this year divided by two so that goes in column seven as a reduction of the uh, capital cost allowance amount to uh, uh, claim CCA on. And then in, in column nine this is where we're prorating the capital cost allowance for the short year end. Uh, we take the um, $60,500 multiply it by the, the rate 20% and then we divide it by 365 days times 245 days so it's prorated for the first year which is how we come up with the $8,122. So that's our first class in the capital cost allowance calculations and thank you for listening.